So we are in a new place today with some new friends, Dirty Secrets of Scotland, and they have very kindly invited us to one of their tips and we're gonna see what we can find. A new bottle dump is always very exciting. Mm -hmm. And they've already had some wonderful finds. Yeah, we're so we're behind. <laughs> one especially very good find yeah. we'll see in a minute. We're really excited about having Kate and Fleur with us digging to well, They're not digging actually, they're doing tech <laughs> searching, but I think they're gonna watch a bit of the dig in. But it's really good for it's really good to have them here and uh, we're looking forward to doing this collaboration video together. Being very uh, cheeky, I think there's a pipe bowl out of Willie's spoil heap and Sarah's spoil heap and it's got a little... <laughs> little nubbin! <laughs> nice! Plain though. I think so, but it's got a nice little heel. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a bowl! It's got anything on it. <laughs> oh, but I'm already thinking it can be a... Um... Nice. <gasps> but that is going to be a... Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. Still cool. Though. We've never found a bowl, so that will be a, um, a sink in the kitchen. Fantastic. Yeah, never found a bowl, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's copper though, it's copper alloy, but still. Wow, it's a bit iron dust, isn't it? That's amazing. He chucks a bottle out of the hole and I can't see it because it's covered in mud. You know what, it could actually be silver just while high copper content. Mm. That's why it's got the patina on it. That's amazing. Wow. That a, that's oh the star God. find. Sure, <laughs> that's anyway. Cool. Right guys, we'll keep that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not good at this, we just don't <laughs> that Okay, so we were here earlier today because we live locally and they were up in Perthshire. So they've come down from Perthshire and joined us this afternoon. And I've already dug this little hole and I'm just about to descend. <laughs> this little hole. I'm just about to go back down there. So uh, you'll see me, the Scottish gopher, going down into this hole. Hi. <laughs> Let's see what we can find down here. Can you pass me my spade, please? Carefully. <laughs> Thank you. Then that's my star finding. Yeah. It's bodega. It says bodega on it. I think it says London, Birmingham, Manchester, and Liverpool. Wow. So I don't know if it was an alcohol flask. Sick, unfortunately. But... It's beautiful. It's quite light, that. It's like iridescent. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, really nice. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Wow. <laughs> wow. Blue poison. Nice. No. Writing on this one, it's just a plain one. But yeah, chuffed. Mm -hmm. I found that in the yeah. spoil. I actually threw that out. <laughs> chuffed it miles, didn't even know. But yeah, mm. it's, it's okay. Oh, we're having a good day. Doing okay. <laughs> uh, HP sauce, always. It's a nice Edinburgh one. It's nice stoneware. I haven't actually seen any of this because I've been dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's got a hang on it. Oh, nice. DW. Yeah, wow. Cool. Nice, it's like a hand with sort of crisscross as well. Yeah, you like almost have that. Nice. Yeah, I think it's meant to be a glove. Yeah, glove paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First things first, a pipe. Wow, and it's got some stem. It's just lying there. Oh, that's, that's going to be a good, good day. I think I also saw. It's this tiny bottle. Broken. Well, I've seen this. <coughs> Some square. But it looks like... I don't know what that is. It looks like it's got a D on the bottom of it. Is it odd? Is the bottle stop? I don't need the bottle stops. This is quite odd, Kate. I don't know what this is. Ooh, Isn't it odd? Like a tile, but it's got a D on it. Does it look like it's scratched or is it actually printed? It's like embossed. Yeah. It might be a tile. But it looks like it's made of plastic. No, it's not made of plastic. No? No. Yeah. 
weird. Okay, <laughs> I win. There's another pipe bowl, but I think there's actually more than one pipe bowl. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pipe bowls. Seven pipe bowls. Seven pipe bowls, and some of them have things on them. <laughs> seven. I mean, it's a it's a bit cheaty, really, because they're just lying here. But <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. So, I mean, this one has a hand on it, <gasps> which is amazing. Oh, with the glove. And, and this I think, one. I think this one also has a hand on a T Y. Another, another hand. Another hand. I think this one is also. <gasps> oh my goodness! We've never. <laughs> I think maybe we found one pipe bowl with a. Hand. What the other? Is that... What's that on it? Nothing. Is that one plain? I think this one is. Wow. There's another TW. Another TW. That one got the hand or the I heart? Think it's a, I think it's just a plain TW one. Oh, what's that know. one? Oh. That's an odd shape. It's a really odd shape. Isn't that the one you just picked up? No. That one. <laughs> oh. Oh, so oh, we have to wash that one. And then is this a wooden one? Yeah, wow. I think so. I know, and that's a shame. That's oh, we can probably. Wow. Do we need all the... I don't think <laughs> we don't need the plain ones. We need, we definitely need the ones with the hands on them. Yeah. Um, we'll leave the plain one, and that one's got a line. Is this another one? There's another pipe. No way. I do, we think we do need to, um... Oh, there's another one! No! Loads. What? How many? Wait, I'm going up here. Okay. There's another one here, there's another one here. Are they all TW? Oh, I've got my handful, that one's plain. Uh, look, this one's got loads of... Oh. Look, it's got that, I love the little foot, the little yeah. bobbly feet. That one almost looks like, um... Oh, wow. This is crazy! Okay, we need to take a, um... If I get my... <laughs> I think, well, oh, I don't know. I mean, this one. This one <laughs> look at there's a thumbnail. Yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful little bottle. But we've got to be careful. We don't have much room. No. It's just a sh oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to get sucked. Oh, there's like a whole saucer here. Look. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I might have to take the whole saucer. It's got little flowers on it. Oh, it's not broken at all. Lenses, we don't need any more lenses, but we may need a saucer. <laughs> Good for painting. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take the saucer. One of her favourite finds to add to the collection, but from a new place, I think. <gasps> it's an alley gob. Gobby. Jack, five stone, knuckle bone. Oh, and it's, a br wow. it's like almost caramel coloured. Goodness, I love that. Wow, okay. Oh, I think I see some third degree too. What are you? Nothing. I think that might be a doll's lid, a little square one. It is. Oh, it's not even square, it's a beautiful shape. Wow, look, a little terrine dish lid. We have a lot of lids. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> It's so dirty, I can't tell if they've got anything on them or not. Oh, I'll take them, clean them. There's the plethora of pipe bowls today. don't think there's anything on that one apart from Ooh. the... It's a pretty thing though. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. oh, I thought you were looking at something else. <laughs> we'll just take them all and then sort them at the end. And Yeah. Because I haven't seen the other one you found. Well, I don't know if they've got anything. Some of them are so yeah. dirty, it's difficult to tell. Well, that looks like it's going to be very beautiful. I wonder what condition it's in. <sighs> Must be the top of a decanter. Looks a beautiful star design. Beautiful. There's a little ink hiding. What's it look like? Oh! That 
is an ink bottle shape I haven't got and haven't haven't found before. I wonder what that one's called. It's not broken, it's got its burst lip, but... No, look! With, with a, a, a line here, an indent. That's a beautiful colour. Definitely going to be taking that. Uh oh. It's not good. <laughs> Way. We've just walked back to the bit where I found the other one, and do you think that's? Oh, do you think that's I a that blue one? I think that's here. It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> it's this a little just one hole. Blue mottled one. This is incredible. <laughs> okay. Is that a hem weight? I'd say it was. A little hem weight for weighting down skirts. We've come across a, a grave of ink bottles. Really tiny ones. Oh, that's a nice square one. That's a nice. Oh, look at the iridescence on that. And also. That's a really nice shape. I think I have to take that one too, because I also don't have that shape. I'm trying to get all shapes. Wow. Beautiful inks. Oh. And then this bottle that says Dunbar's Aerated Water Albion Road. James. Probably I should know. And Edinburgh. Internal screw for the vulcanite. Oh no. And this has a chip and a crack, but I feel like mum might want it because it says Bosper. I don't know what that means, but from the front you can't tell. That is beautiful. And it's printed. <laughs> We've never really found any, any much printed. What's this? Wow. And... Wow. What does that have on it? Does it have a dragon? Or a wolf? With... on a castle? Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's a stunning bottle. It's obviously very sick. But that is amazing. Uh oh. It's really heavy, but I think I might have to... Oops! It's a very beautiful bird. That would have been amazing. Can't really do much with it though, because it's curved. But look, oh wow. Look at them, There's t what are they? Oh, herons? Maybe? It's a plane, maybe. They have really nice, like, bobbly things, though. Yeah. Mm. Now it does have a hole in the bottom, but I'm pretty sure Willie could fix that with some resin if it turns out to be a cool bottle. Ooh, it's got an address on it. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. <laughs> 54 Princess Street, Edinburgh. Where's the hole in it? The back corner. Yeah, you know what? That. You can't see that. <laughs> right. No. That's well, cool. You just put tape on that, and then put tape over the corner. I'll be keeping that because that's yeah. a local Edinburgh. The Prince's yeah. hair specialist. 54 Princess Street, Edinburgh. That's wow. Cool. Wow. Cured, isn't it? So that's the, mm -hmm. main, yeah, the main shopping street in Edinburgh is Princess Street. Opposite the castle. Wow. That's amazing. That is beautiful. Cool. Yeah. It's a bit sick, but it's got that iridescence, which is really cool. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, yeah. yeah. It was glowing in the sun. <laughs> I imagine if you put UV light on it, it's going to look amazing. But yeah, not, um, not complete. Not complete. 
quite a bolt. What's on this one? If anything, is it plain? Can't tell. <laughs> it's not really making it very much cleaner. <laughs> Might be GW again. That's a real shame. Look at that, it's like an old toothpaste bottle would have like a curved top. But it's got text. It's print it oh look, such a shame. Oh that would have been stunning. <sighs> Just camouflaged amongst the leaves is an almost complete one. Little terracotta plant pot, so I'm going to have to take that. There's a, a vulcanite here. D. Kelly Leith. Oh, do we need a vulcanite? Maybe. Is that going to be complete? Yes. It is. It's always nice when you find these in a dump because they're not... We love frosted ones but sometimes it's nice to have them when they're nice and clear and shiny still. Brilliant. Bottle top? Bottle stopper, sorry. Wow. If only we had the ability to cut out. Wow, it's a Fets big. College, look. With the bell. I, Ooh, I mean, I might take that just in case we ever can because look at it. I it's mean, a chip. I mean, it could I wonder be easier where Fets because you just need to take off this edge, wouldn't you? Yeah. I wonder where Fets College is. Yeah, I'm going to have to take that. That's amazing. I just pulled this out, and this is quite possibly the bubbliest bottle I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. It's almost like. Difficult to can you look can you see like if you look at the neck and at the Oh yeah and look at the neck. Oh let's just look at something. Yeah, wave. I think I might I think I'm gonna have to take it. It is so <laughs> incredibly bubbly. It's difficult because I want to clean it to okay. show off the true bubbles. Goodness, what's on that plate? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh. oh, she's got a dog in her basket. Oh, that's like pearlware, maybe cream, Staffordshire creamware. I don't know, but oh, I don't know. I might have to take it. <laughs> and another pipe. <laughs> It's got the hand. TW. Oh, that's a heartbreaking sight. <laughs> oh, just a bit. Oh. I think that's one of the ones that would have floated in the bath. Oh. Frozen Charlotte. With, with no head or legs. <laughs> But you shall go in the collection. Dear, just complete and perfect sitting there. Uh oh, this is a tough one. That bit is broken. Cornucopia. <sighs> yep, cornucopia feeder. Oh, this is. I'm going to need to ask Mum's opinion. But underneath, can you see? <sighs> I don't even know what number that is now. That's incredible. So many glow pipes. Just as I said, so many glow pipes. <sighs> there is another one. is crazy and look at this heel again wow <laughs> i literally just stood up and turned around 
and I was like oh there's another one but actually I think this has something exciting on it or different oh my gosh <gasps> It's on the other side. I have, oh, it's really difficult. It's covered in, who is it? So, you know, that's very clearly a profile of a man's face. Who does it say? Oh, it says his name and then it's got the Union Jack, is that? Oh, I'm gonna clean it more carefully, but oh. I have never found, it's sort of a clay pipe with a head on. No, it's a clay pipe with a head on. The dream is a head shape, but that is pretty amazing and pretty close. Oh my gosh. I wonder who he is. So I've cleaned it a bit and it either says boss, but it might say B085. I don't know, I imagine 1885. I don't know the significance of that date, I'm afraid, to, I'm embarrassed to say. I'll have to find out. What's she found? Ah, that is amazing. And it went like that, you can't tell. So no. We could fix it somehow. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. It's literally just that. Yeah. Go on, win for a penny yeah. and for a pound. But my exciting first, sort of like, Almost. <gasps> it's almost the same head as the one I found, isn't it? Uh, it says, I think it says B085. Oh. What happened in 1885? And then on the other side, I think it's got the Union Jack. <gasps> That's amazing. It is a head on a pipe. It is a head on a pipe. It is a head on a pipe. On pipe day. Wow. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very chuffed with that. So to see my broken frozen salad. Yeah. Yeah. I, look, the first one of the day. <gasps> a bead! <laughs> you said it's funny there were no beads. That's beautiful. Oh, is it blue? It's sort of kind of icy blue. Icy blue. Nice. Wow. <laughs> I'll turn it off again. Yeah, I was going to show you my. I might hold my tool for a minute. Well, it's actually your tool, but. Oh my gosh. I know. A floaty one. That's a real shame. That's devastating. I know. And it's not, you know, the sum of the face. Mm -hmm. I'm sure maybe one day. Well, we might better fix it. We do have some face, half faces and stuff, don't we? We do. Oh, I reckon that's a baby's m Oh, maybe it's not that. Oh, it is the baby's mouth with the teeth. Always good. We will be rebuilding them one day. And the more pieces we have, the better it'll be. That figure ain't going to have a head. I doubt it. But let's have a look. It's got thistles for Scotland on it anyway. Oh, yes. She's practically complete apart from her head. <laughs> it's called a thistle though. And something that, another thistle that would have been at the top maybe. I'm sure we've got a head for her. Must have. She literally is just missing a thistle on her head. Hmm. Think about that one, I might ask Kate. Look at that beautiful flow blue plate. That would have been stunning. Mm -hmm. No maker. No maker. Beautiful. That's cute little AJ white limited bottle, little panel bottle. That is quite cute. It's reasonably small. I take that one. <laughs> This is unprecedented for us. <gasps> oh, wow. This, it's got a hand on it. It's got the lovely hand. Oh, no, did I just do that? No, I think it was already, I just pushed the dirt off, but it's so exciting. We've always wanted to find a, one, one of these the hand ones. Oh, yep, TW. And what was this underneath it? Piece of bone. <laughs> Another beautiful 
bottle stop. Wow. Now that could be something really exciting or it could be nothing. Oh my gosh, is it going to be a pig? I think I see now, is it going to be a, a pig? Is this the back of a... I think it's going to be... Is it a pig? It's a tiny pig and it is complete. It bisque, I think. I think it's a bisque pig and it is complete. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to... Oh, I can't clean him very well. Hello. I love him. It is my turn after your finds, and he, it is. <gasps> no. It's a bisque pig, and he's 100% complete. Oh. <laughs> he is beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's beautiful. He is beautiful. He is, isn't he? Or she, she might call her. Definitely be in the house yeah. 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 That is a real heartbreaker. Or is it plain? Oh, it's plain anyway. It's a beautiful shape. Beautiful it is. That's a nice one. The drippy lip. Vulcanite top. I can't quite read what it says. I know it says Edinburgh. Mm, that might have to be our souvenir bottle. <laughs> See what it cleans up like. Small little lead square. Very useful for something, could be something, not sure. I find a palp that I found the other day, although it might be different, I think. It's a, oh, oh it's got a chip out of it though. It's a basket pipe. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's a shame, he's got a bit of a chip. But for me, it's a basket. Wow. That's such a shame, it's got a chip out of it. Oh, but that's fine, it's a really big basket. Oh. Is it something on the heel? Swirls? <laughs> wow, that's a, yeah, that's that's a it. big yeah. basket. I'm happy with that. I just found the tiniest little, I mean maybe ink, it's very small actually, whilst I'm looking at it. Is that going to be a head? Oh, no. It's going to be a handle. It's very round. Is it a stone or a marble? Ha, huh, I think it's just a very round stone, because it's not quite round. Pipe or just the stem? Just the stem. Another one. This is crazy. Wow. Oh, is it T W? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> another one of those bottles. <laughs> They're probably very common, that's why they've been left. But this one looks a little bit... I just want a souvenir bottle that says Edinburgh, really. I am not. I think it's a pretty bottle. It's got nice bubbles. Now I need to find a Dunbar Falconite. Look <laughs> at this little one. Mushrooms. They're amazing. Yeah. I've stopped to film the mushrooms and then did you see what I said? <gasps> a leg! A leg! When I looked down to stop filming, is it complete? 
That's a good size too. Oh, it is, and it's got a beautiful Just that. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. It's got a painted yellow bottom of its boot. <sighs> oh, that is so beautiful. That's such a beautiful Ooh, leg. leg. So detailed. I've never seen. Yeah, such a detail. Yeah, and the bottom. She was an expensive doll. Where's the rest of her? <laughs> Is that a marble? Oh, no, I think it probably would have been a pull of some sort on a piece of string. I'm in the shade of a tree at the moment, but I think I may have just found a little leg, <laughs> lead, leg, a little lead um, seal. Oh, and it looks like it's got lots of writing on it. Sorry, I'm in the dark. I wonder if there's a tiny bit of sun I can get to. <laughs> there you go. So on the back it says F, F, F maybe with a T. And then it's got, is that a crown? Let me have a look and I'll bring you back. I can't quite see what it says, but you can see it's almost got a shield with a crown or just as that. That's really exciting. We'll find some history about that. It's another pipe bolt chipped, unfortunately. Oh, it's not got another. No, I thought it had another person on it. <laughs> wow, I've lost count. Yeah, well, I have no idea. So there are some real heartbreakers here. The love heart and the beautiful um, castle. But I see something that is not a heartbreaker. I see something that is one of my favorite finds to find ever. Oh! <laughs> I looked here as well. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's an acorn clay pipe. Oh wow, that was meant to be for you. <gasps> That's that, how many clay pipes is that now? I don't know, and an acorn one. That is beautiful. <sighs> and it's so very autumnal. Yeah, yeah. You find an acorn. <gasps> wow, okay. Amazing. Oh. What have you found? I just had this. Oh. <laughs> What is it? I'm slowly There's slipping into this giant wall. hole. Light. Ooh. I don't know what it is. I thought it was just like the top of a lid or something, but I'm not sure. No, it's sort of got a thing on the back, hasn't yeah. it? What does it, it looks... say? Oh, it's bright. Yes, it is. I can't see what it says. No. Definitely There's definitely it. words writing on it, though. Yeah. Wow, you were meant to find that, and yeah. I was meant to find the <laughs> acorn. That plastic. Is that a niche comb? <laughs> Looks like it could be a niche comb. Is it a bit of plastic though. I can't tell. I have to get Kate to look at it. Very dirty. Has it got something? Oh, it's got something written on it, so it must be plastic. But what does it say? <laughs> Put my glasses on. Yeah, it says trademark. I'm pretty sure that's a knit comb and it's made of plastic, but I quite like that just for its slight creepiness. <laughs> it's a knit comb. <laughs> it's definitely a knit comb, isn't it? It's just trademark. Well, that's almost a bucket list find. Yes, but made up not made of plastic. I don't know. It's quite a it's quite a, a cool thing, isn't it? Definitely plastic though, isn't it? That's amazing. It's cool though, I don't it's yeah. Like yeah, like, you know. yeah. That's a really, really Ivor cool. Ivoroid. Ivoroid. I think one of them was called <laughs> early plastic. <laughs> I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. But it was made to look like ivory. Ivoroid. <laughs> I went to swap this out with the other one thinking it was the same bottle, but it's not the same bottle, it's a different bottle. Now I have to take both of them and now Kate's gone to look at that one in the hole. Oh, you look at this? No. <laughs> Oh good. <laughs> That's a clay marble maybe? Oh, big one. Oh, it's very shiny. What's this down here? What do you think? No. <laughs> That's a good marble. Very shiny. Look how shiny that is. Nice. 
I, I, I mean, I don't even know. Ooh, what are you? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I've got too many things in my hand. I don't know, it's just got weird lines up the side. Oh, oh well, put it with the rest. <laughs> Wow, okay, I can see that it's a bit chipped, but nowhere. We've come full circle. Do you remember our very first mudlarking film, Mum? Oh, very first. I picked that up earlier. It's oh, broken. but, but it's only just broken, and do you remember our very first film? I do, you found it. I found a, a much more broken one of these. No. <laughs> it's barely broken, I'm taking that. Okay. That's, <laughs> that was the find of our very first and it did, I want other oh, yeah, one had well, like... Yeah, oh, that's was, true, I'd forgotten that. Yours is just like half a Yeah. One. And it's an anointment oil. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's amazing. Has <laughs> this pipe all got anything on it? <laughs> What's that? What's that? Is it that knobbly like your knobbly one? With the lines like the other yeah. ones, the one I found so like a didn't have novels. Oh, so it's like a knobbly pipe, but liney knobbly. Oh well, just add it to the pile. <laughs> Is she complete? Oh, I don't know. Oh, she looks like she's. Oh, come on. She's tiny. She's tiny. <gasps> Look at her little face. <sighs> she is complete. I mean, I think she's she complete. Tiny, tiny little, little tiny. Oh, I think it might have a tiny nibble. But oh, look at her. Her gorgeous painted face. She's a perfect doll's house doll. She is a perfect doll's house doll. Their Scottish cousin. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to give her a tiny kilt. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think the leg we found might be too big for yeah. her. We've got, like we said, we've got loads and loads of tiny mm -hmm. That's a general, Oops. war general. Yeah, oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And then, he, yeah, you can research that guy. Yeah. He was, uh, it's a bit, we did a feature on him a while ago. Um, yeah, Ian, our, our mate Ian knows all about that. And he, hmm. he talked about it in one of our videos. Nice. Uh, Sergeant Bob's, Bob's, I think, <laughs> or Colonel Bob's one of the two. I love that acorn, that's so cool. <laughs> I've never seen an acorn like that. Like <laughs> that. That's amazing. Mum found a little doll's head. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> Shoulders intact. <laughs> How did you find that? <laughs> <laughs> we found a whole saucer, it's plain, but it's just exciting when you find something. Funny. I know, yeah, we found one with flowers on it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking this, but I am. It's complete. Well, you painting. Yeah, that's what you yeah. said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a very, very fine lead wheel, but wheels are very, very handy. And what we do, let's be a bit of car one day. <laughs> Tiniest bit of broken doll's leg, but I'll take it. Or oh, arm, actually. No leg, I reckon. Or oh, arm, I don't know. <laughs> Eyebrow. That would have been stunning. <laughs> Such a shame, that would have been beautiful. Like the flow blue, more flow blue. 
It's not Dunbar, but it does say Edinburgh on it, Leith. I might take that one just in case again. I don't find the one I need. What did you just say to me, Mum? I've got one, but it's missing the actual screw. But it is. Yeah, look. But then maybe we'll find another. I'll take that. Yeah. And then I'll take a cork. Take a cork in it. Hidden and broken, but only just. Look how magnificent that is. What would that possibly have had in it? Why is it so fancy? Potted meat. Definitely would have had potted meat. It would have had a layer of fat on top of it. That is beautiful. I know. Stop, I've got a plate in my bag. <laughs> More clay pipes. Oh my gosh. I imagine Willie's seen these. It's another hand. Wow, that one's sort of shattered. And there's another. DW. Not the TV, but I think there's a broken one. Oh no, that's a face. Huh. Oh, you found a leg, didn't you? I did, did find a leg today, a doll's arm. Yeah, I've not found oh. a leg, but I have a little nice. arm. Nice. Just as I was thinking that I can't find anything, <laughs> I can't see anything. And then it popped out, maybe button. Mm. So, I found something. <laughs> Let's just pick this up. Oh. Yes, that was me. It's the yeah. bottom of a tiny bottle. Broken though, no, yeah? No, it's like a tiny ink, uh, ink. It's not a bottle, is it? Oh, it's a tiny Say ink, ink well. well. Oh, broken, oh, oh, but only <gasps> almost for like something for the. That's so tiny. Sorry. I've got an ink collection. It's broken. I don't mind. It's a different thing for the. Yeah. It's tiny. It's tiny. It's beautiful and it's sort of cut glass. I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Broken leg. I'm really zoomed in. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's literally getting dark. <laughs> we walked accidentally past this hole, and now we're all just. <laughs> so that was the whole day on the dump with. Not the dirty, Not the dirty the secret of Scotland. <laughs> well, as far as we know, we are the only one called that. I hope so. The dirty secret yeah. of Scotland. And if there is another one, I don't know what they're up to. <laughs> <laughs> we had an amazing day, found loads of things. Going to dig next time we come and see you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for having us and meeting us. You're very, very welcome. welcome. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for joining Lovely us. to have you in Scotland. Yeah. The weather, weather is always like this. <laughs> always sunny in Scotland. I keep saying that to everyone. Sometimes people believe me. <laughs> so, yeah, no, we've had a great day. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Nearly the end. Sun has gone down, so it's probably yeah. time it's a bit to. Chilly, yeah, yeah, it's getting yeah. a little bit cold. No, it's a right away. It's getting a little it? bit chilly. <laughs> so, probably time to head home. Yeah. We'll uh, see you in the roundup. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, that was our trip to Scotland to visit. We were actually there for a family birthday, weren't we? We were. Our great aunt lives in Perth, so we went up for her birthday and only had one day, really, and we know there are so many wonderful <laughs> mudlarkers in um, Scotland. But this time was meeting Dirty Secrets of Scotland, and it was incredible. It was such a big dump. <laughs> it was such a wonderful <laughs> day as well. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Let's get into the roundup. Well, we found more pipes than we've ever found before. Yes. We didn't bring them all home, no. did we? <laughs> we'll talk about those. What's your favourite? Find. Yeah. I find it very, very difficult this week. Is it the between the one that you didn't realise what it was? Until yeah, I, I might start it. with that one just because 
So I picked up two ink bottles because they were shapes I'd never found before for my ink bottle collection. And lo and behold, when mum washed this wonderful square one, it's blue. It's blue, it's beautiful. And it's got such amazing, it's sick, but it's the way the sick Ness has come out. It looks like waves. It is possibly my, it's my most beautiful ink bottle that I've found. Marbled. It's yeah. Marbled. It's absolutely incredible. I yeah, I absolutely love it. It's got some iridescence too, which is difficult to show you. But it's it's blue. Yeah. And I've never found a blue ink. Mum yeah. has found one. But yeah, it's incredible. Should I get my blue? Maybe. So here is Mum's, which is obviously a blue boat ink. I don't know what this type of ink is called. No. If anyone knows, please let us know in the comments down below. Oh, we've never seen one, have we? Yeah. Like the weird bits cut out yeah, in the, the corners. Sort of, yeah. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. I'm so glad that, because I, I could not tell that it was blue. Whilst, um, well, no, I couldn't tell with mine, no. I remember. It was like not till I came home that I realised. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also picked up this ink bottle, which again, it's aqua, but it's so almost green coloured. It's beautiful. And it says, um, it's got a B in a, di in a di diamond in the bottom. Yeah. yeah, you can see it's so much more deep than, say, normal clear aquas. I do like my two inks. But then also, of course, I do really like my pig. Look how well he's come up. He's cleaned up really nicely. He's beautiful. And as um, Willie Bisque Piggy. <laughs> it's a tiny little perfect condition Bisque Pig. Which is amazing. I love him. What's your favourite find? I didn't find that much, <laughs> but the, 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 the tiny, tiny head. With her neck and shoulders. She's complete. Yeah, she's adorable. She's got such a cute little face. Yeah, I mean, she will be turned into a doll, as, long, as well as this beautiful, really detailed leg, which has a painted yellow golden boot. It's incredible. Yeah, like you say, she would have been. It's got a mould number two in the sock. Would have been a very expensive doll. Two gobbies, Jack, Knucklebone, five stones. Again, they get marked really well. pieces. They did, yeah. They've got really good condition. Well, it's very. Them, yeah, it's yeah. very rare that we find things in dumps these days, isn't yeah. it? Ours have always been battered about by some form of water or another. And some beads. The beautiful bowl that Willie and Sarah were kind enough to give gift us which will be a sink for In the doll's house kitchen, kitchen yeah. which is very useful because we didn't really know what we were going to do for a sink um, broken frozen charlotte broken frozen charlotte my dish doll's dish lid is actually incredibly detailed it's got lots of swirls on it and indents it's really decorative a lot. Mm. She would have floated. She would have. She's got a hole in her bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will have floated on top. And an example of a one we didn't find complete. It did. It was a missing head and body that Mum reconnected. And it says, "Put me in water, and I will float." Japan. She does not have a hole in her no. bottom, but she, she, she is. But she has a, a she hole, has in, a hole foot. in her foot, and she is a lot um, lighter. lighter than this one. Yeah, I think she's probably nineteen twenty. So I'd say that was probably a Victorian one. Yeah. Her bow's come untied. It has come untied. <laughs> <laughs> um, some bottle stops. This. Mum is in the process of restoring. Oh, it's full of <laughs> common <laughs> you stuff. Just have to <laughs> um, this is a Bosper pot, and Bosper, you've discovered, is gravy powder. But it's weird that most like, of it's in boxes. Yeah, so they wouldn't have sold gravy powder in a pot like this. I don't think would they? No, I think it's probably like an advertising. Mm -hmm. But it's so beautiful. The font is amazing, and we've never found 
sort of printed stoneware, oh, have oh, we? Oh, well, only ones are fixed. <laughs> yeah, only ones we fixed, which again we fixed. But yeah. this was the most complete, and the crazy on it, yeah, we just could not, could not really like it. Oh, my bubbly bottle! I can now show you the true bubbliness now that it is clean, and it is crazy. It almost feels like I don't know. How I don't think it was done. It wasn't done deliberately. It wasn't done deliberately. I just wonder if it was done sort of wrong or in a rush job. I just don't understand how it can be <laughs> so very bubbly. Did love it. And the, yeah, the neck where you can see the sort of elongated, sort of elongated bubbles. I love it. It's a very simple bottle. The seam doesn't go all the way to the top, but I. It's just pure bubble. <laughs> I love it. It looks like sort of art glass. It looks like the way mm. people deliberately do. The an oil bottle that is just a blast. The past. The past. The, past. the, the marble or what? Mm. I don't know. It's glazed. I don't understand. It's, yeah. It's just like a ball of clay. It's been glazed, so it's almost like someone just made their own marbles, marbles, or it was for some other purpose. That it didn't matter that it wasn't completely uniform. Weird, isn't it? It's very strange. Very strange. Little, tiny, tiny little ink. ink, which, as Sarah said, you could get maybe two letters out of <laughs> before you had to refill. <laughs> mm. Complete plant pot with. <laughs> ornament growing out ornament of it. Ornament growing out of it. A really beautiful painted face. Mm. Yes, pipes. So these are the ones we decided to bring home, which is probably more than we should have. Probably. But we only ever found one hand clay pipe, and it wasn't a TW one, and it didn't have the sort of crisscross glove, and I don't suppose we'll find another one anytime soon, and we didn't know how they'd clean up so we mm. had to bring home all the hands <laughs> but I just they're incredible I love them yeah I couldn't couldn't not um, this one we brought home because it had a really lovely heel and it it says 26 W C H R and then I T H which I guess is leet because I found quite a few leaf things. Um, Mum's beautiful wicker basket clay pipe, which she's always wanted to find. It's a shame it's perfect. It's a shame it's a little bit dinked, but from this angle, can't tell. <laughs> um, again, this one we brought just because, I mean, it's been smushed, but it was quite a lot of heel, and it says Mac and RCH. I do love a pipe that's got some stem, so you don't find them very often. An acorn pipe to add to my collection of acorn pipes. So with this one, that will make three acorn pipes that I have found, which officially it's a collection. is a collection. <laughs> I officially have a collection of acorn pipes. It is incredible. I don't think I've found three of any type of decorative pipe. Except maybe like knobbly ones. Yeah. I found two wicker baskets. So I feel like it was meant to be that I'd find three acorns. And they're all different. They are. This one is still my favourite, yeah. my first one, because it's got the beautiful, amazing... Yeah. But this one, I love the detail on the cup. Three acorn pipes. <laughs> And then a first for me, pipe-wise, was my Bob's pipe. <laughs> and instead of us giving you the history of Bob's, we thought we would link down below the film that Willie and Sarah talk about, the history of Bob's, over on their channel. So that link is the first link in the description. But, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I've never found a complete pipe with profile on. Yeah. Close. Close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> My knit comb. Ah oh, yes, your <laughs> knit comb. <laughs> Can't manage to find anything. We don't know what it's a picture of. 
almost looks like an elephant. If it's an elephant, I don't know. Ivory can't be soft, can it? I know, it's not ivory. No, it's just weird that it's got an elephant on it. Uh-uh. I don't think it's an early form of plastic. But it's definitely a knit comb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is very almost bucket of spine. A, a bone knit yeah, comb from quite, the Thames. The right colour. Been on our <laughs> list. We can't quite make out what this says, can we? Unfortunately, your metal thing, I think it's just a bit too far gone. It's pretty though. Um, and this one says N G E N S and then F R O something A N D E E. And because I was ill this week, we haven't had a time to research this. But if any of you fancy giving it a go and then letting us know down below, that would be amazing. It's got a sort of shield with a crown on top. And it says FFF. So, yeah, we know how incredible you guys are at finding out the history of items. So, yeah, it would be wonderful if you could uh, let us know. And then, very unusually for us, we've got some big bottles, yes. which we... That's what... I left that there because there was broken Oh, that off. was Both inside of them had it. broken off. Oh, so really? Oh, yeah, I should put a... Should uh, do that one mm. in there. So we've got... Although it's actually this bottle, isn't it? So we have a Dunbar's Aerated Waters 14 Maryfield James Dunbar Registration, Edinburgh. Which I it must be a, quite a common bottle because there was quite a lot of quite them a around, few of them there, complete. But, but we always like to have a souvenir bottle yeah. everywhere we go, and we can decide on just one this time. No, we, not, not usually spoilt for choice no, no. on complete bottles with embossing, but it's so beautiful. Yeah. Always nice to have somewhere to put a vulcanite. <laughs> beautiful, and then also. This one, which is a little bit sick, but it is C. Oh, Riterian? Riterian Works, T. Sanderson, Edinburgh, and then trademark, but with a big S on the bottom. Yeah, it needs a bit more cleaning. Mm -hmm. But it's very rare. I say that we find bottles. So yeah, we, we get don't. Very excited. I was looking at our bottles the other day. We've <sighs> just got a very small, of mm. big bottles, we've just got a very small shelf. Yeah. Mostly little bottles. Yeah. <laughs> They're all, almost the only things that survive where we are. Yeah. And even when you do find complete whole ones, they're very rarely embossed. No, we don't so. We don't find many vulcanite. No. No, not at all. No. We found a full plate, though. We did find a full plate. For painting. Mm hmm I think it's got, I think, violets? Possibly. Oh, this is, you know, I can't show you, but it's, you can see the light through it. It's very fine bone, bone china. china. Yeah, but it's beautiful. And it's got sort of um, gold... Gilding. Gilding, that's it, <laughs> around the edge. Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, very rarely, we never found a complete plate that's got... It's painted, painting. Painting, right? yeah. Um, and then there's this one which is broken, but mm. it's very pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I can't no. not do it at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but the sculpture, it's got, it's only missing its head and a thistle, I think. It, it's quite gaudy, but mm. it's got thistles on it, so hey. <laughs> and you'll be? So we took this because it's incredible, <laughs> and a bee and a belt, and hopefully one day we'll have the ability to cut out China, but actually, reading the history of Fett's College, it's really quite lovely. A fella called Sir William Fett's, who's lived from 1750 to 1836, and William's son, William, his only son, died in 1815. 
and Sir William, who was quite a wealthy merchant, bequeathed the then very large sum of £166,000 to be set aside for the education of poor children and orphans, in oh. memory of his son. Oh. Yeah. And then after he died, the money was invested to acquire 350 acres of land to build the main building and to found the school in 1870, Fetz College. And it opened with 53 pupils. And it was an all-boys school until 1970, huh? where the first female students were allowed. And it's still still going today. And where is it? In Edinburgh. Right. Sorry, did I not say that? No. <laughs> it's in Edinburgh. <laughs> it's a very amazing-looking school. But there's lots of history during the wars and stuff about Fetz College. But, yeah, I think the idea behind the school was yeah. really lovely. So, yeah. I'm glad we took that piece of pottery and found that piece of history out. So we've mentioned Dirty Secrets of Scotland on our channel before because they were very kind enough once we we had mentioned on our channel that we were collecting spongeware for a project. But obviously, living down south, we don't <laughs> find that much spongeware. Not in comparison to the amazing spongeware they find further up the country. And they were kind enough to send us a box of spongeware but they didn't stop there because they have been collecting spongeware since then and they gave us the most amazing bag of it which we will still, save, still haven't cleaned I've got to clean it save showing you for a special Christmas a special spongeware mudmus episode that we're going to do which is exciting but they not only gave us a wonderful selection of spongeware they gave us two other amazing gifts so they gave it, this isn't one, this isn't, this is another amazing, they gave us this adorable little head. They gave us this adorable little head, which almost looks like a little boy, mm -hmm. which is exciting, because there's not many boys, and boys the living in the doll's, doll's house. house world. <laughs> and then they gave us, they gave us a complete porcelain doll's head with the, oh, from yeah, Armand Marseille, Germany, uh, it's yeah. it's incredible to do a craft with. But not only did they give us a complete head, they also gave us with it. That's a quite funny story, really. It, <laughs> the eyes that were originally in this head, <gasps> which is so exciting. We literally yeah. just said that we can't make a. We can't, we, we weren't going to put the eyes in the head and they would be odd, but he's actually the original eyes with this head. And, and when he said, when he dug it out of the ground, he picked it up and the eyes were still in working condition and they actually moved. <laughs> and it said it freaked him out a little yes. bit. <laughs> it would freak you out a lot. But unfortunately, the, um, the, Mechanism, mechanism just rotted away because he said there was wax involved in yeah things. it's a wax mechanism which would have been amazing but so i might be able excited. to get because i discovered when i was cleaning out the pig because i mm -hmm. use lemon juice to clean metal and i thought i didn't have much cleaning things so i thought i would soak the pig in the lemon juice and see what happened and oh, that looks really creepy <laughs> on the outside <laughs> but the pig kind of looked like that forehead mm -hmm. a little bit and it all came off so I'm gonna soak maybe soak that in lemon juice and it should come off and the other gift not only do Willie and Sarah have Dirty Secrets of Scotland their sort of bottle digging mudlarking YouTube channel Sarah also has a channel called She Walks She Paints which is also linked down below and they make the most beautiful films. Lovely films, lovely films. They're really, films. really pretty. And as the channel suggests, she walks and she paints. <laughs> and she was kind enough to gift us. And it is stunning. <laughs> and every painting, it says where it's from, where she found it. And it's just beautiful. Oh, goodness. So we will be using this. Um, for all things mudlarking. mudlarking and YouTube channel related. It's really difficult to show you without. But, yeah, I, it's beautiful. Ha! Huh. Frog! <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Oh! 
So thank you very much, Willie and Sarah, for the gifts. And we just have to say a massive thank you for coming to meet us. It was such a lovely day. We were a bit late, weren't we? <laughs> we were a little bit late. Um, so we didn't get to see much of the actual sort of digging process because the sun was going yeah. down and we were quite excited to find stuff. So we'll definitely have to uh, come up again and talk, have, maybe have a little less crazy, hectic Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. But it was still a wonderful day and they are both lovely people and they have a very unique channel it's mm. completely different sort of to what we do we were talking about how different it is sort of digging and looking for the tiny things and so they find we were excited about these bottles but they find the most incredible they bottles and not just bottles they find whole dull heads yeah. all the time <laughs> and amazing pipes and all sorts of wonderful things so if you haven't already checked them out there's the link down below it's definitely worth it for both of their channels it's, and also, yes, they really highlight the beautiful area in which they yeah. live. It's amazing. So I guess all that's left to say is to also thank all of you for all of your wonderful comments and every time you subscribe or like a film, as we say every week, it means everything. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you to all of our wonderful donors and, of course, our patrons. We hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you soon. <laughs>